Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my daughter Journey's nine month update, right? She's nine months. <laughs> I don't feel like I don't even know what day it is right now because my whole family is coming out of COVID. Uh, it's not funny. It was such a long, miserable, boring week and I'm in such a head fog right now. Like I said, I don't even know <laughs> what day it is. Um, but yeah, we all had COVID. Uh, we think Journey did too, not 100% sure. She was super fussy there. Um, one of the beginning days um, when we all started coming down with it. And I thought it was just teething, but I'm not sure she might have had it. But either way, I think we're all on the mend now. My neighbor's dog also just started losing his mind. So hopefully we don't hear him barking throughout this whole video. <laughs> But in today's video, I'm going to go all over all of the updates with Journey for the last month. She was born on April 15th, 2021, and as of about a week ago, she turned nine months old. So I'm going to talk about everything that went on with her over the last month. This is like the age where I feel like there's so many new things almost every day. Like the babies just change so fast once they hit that like seven, eight month mark. And it's literally something new every time I turn around. So I have a lot to catch you guys up on. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up while you're watching. At the end of the video, I will bring Journey in like I always do so you guys can see her. She's napping right now. I'm looking at her on the monitor. It looks like she actually might be starting to wake up. So we'll bring her in at the end of the video. The first category I'm going to cover is feeding and eating. So she is still exclusively breastfed and she still nurses about every three to three and a half hours on demand. Um, we haven't had as much trouble with distracted nursing. This is something I've always struggled with with her. Last month I said that sometimes I couldn't get her to nurse for more than like two minutes at a time for a while there. That still occasionally happens. I think I've had to pump once, maybe twice over the last month. Um, and in that case, she really doesn't even want to take a bottle anymore. So I just give her my breast milk in her little weighted straw sippy cup. And she sucks that right down, no problem. If I really need to get some breast milk in her and she just doesn't want to nurse. That's usually what I'll do, but that's pretty rare. She's been doing um, a lot better. We still almost always have to go in her room with the door shut, so we really limit the distractions. Journey is still loving all food and water. She drinks water pretty well through her weighted straw sippy cup. Um, I feel like there was a couple of times with food over the last like couple of weeks She's been not wanting it as much, but I, I I really think that that may have been, maybe she did have COVID and her taste was a little off, or maybe she just didn't feel very good. I, I was experiencing that when I was getting over it, so I can completely sympathize that maybe that's why she wasn't as, um, had as much of an appetite there about a week, week and a half ago. She is now eating three meals a day, so I think in the last update she was only eating like breakfast and dinner and kind of snacking with me for lunch, but she is now eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner. She doesn't really have snacks throughout the day yet, but sometimes she'll beg for whatever I'm snacking on and I'll give her a little bit. And kind of a TMI thing, but we were dealing with some constipation there, or not even like constipation, but like uh, just irregularness with her for a while there and it really seemed like it was kind of painful for her so I started giving her the Wellamins brand constipation relief and I'm not sure if it was COVID or what maybe to her just eating more solids but she was having some trouble there for about a week um, it's gotten a little bit better and I've just been trying to increase her water intake I kind of switched a little bit more to purees for a while there um, to kind of help her out with that, but I think it might just be possibly the combination of sickness in the house and her eating more solids than usual that that stuff kind of changes a little bit around this age. For sleeping, Journey still sleeps around 14 hours in a 24 hour period. Um, she's doing pretty well sleeping in her crib overnight. In the beginning of the month, she was still waking up like three plus times a night, whether it was to nurse or whether it was just because she was awake. And especially like that last time around four in the morning, she did not want me to put her down. She would fall asleep when I'd rock her, but as soon as I laid her back down, she was wide awake, crying, wanting me to pick her back up. She did that for several nights and it was rough, but she hasn't been doing that the last few nights. And then about a week and a half ago, when the sickness really first hit our house, she slept through the night completely one night 
and there like the next few nights she only woke up one time each and I was like this is amazing but I honestly think it was because she was sick she was just extra sleepy um, because I did notice on her outlet sock monitor which she still wears every night that her resting heart rate was about 30 beats per minute higher one of those nights that first night that she slept through the night and not that's not dangerous or anything but it's something that I've noticed with both of my girls when they're wearing that that, that usually means they're getting sick or kind of like getting over something when their resting heart rates a little bit higher so I think that she was sick and maybe just extra sleepy which is good it helped her sleep better but yeah she's been going back to getting up at least twice a night sometimes three times a night to nurse um, yeah, I haven't really been doing much about that. I've just been giving her the milkies when she wants it. Journey always takes two naps a day. She hasn't taken a third nap in a long time. And when we're home, it's usually around 10 a.m. and like 2.30 to 3 p.m. is when she goes down for her second one. Um, I try to stretch those around those times as consistently as possible. But if we're out of the house or, you know, running around, she does fall asleep in the car really easily. She just doesn't stay asleep in the car for that long. So that can throw off her nap schedule, but usually uh, she just has the two naps. I still lay her down on her belly for every nap. And every time I lay her down at night, she just sleeps a lot better that way. So haven't stopped doing that. And her naps usually still range between an hour to an hour and a half, sometimes up to two hours per nap. For her sizes and clothing and diapers, she's still in six to nine months um, in clothes. Some of the nine month pants, I feel like are getting a little short. She's definitely gotten longer over the last month. Um, it just kind of depends on the brand, like with every baby, some still fit her really well, some are getting kind of small, and I'm almost thinking we might be able to go to like the 9 to 12 month size soon, especially like with Carters, which run pretty small, um, but she's still in size 3 diapers and still wearing pretty much the same clothes she has been for the last couple of months. For Journey's height and weight and pediatrician notes, so we actually go to the pediatrician this Friday for her nine month wellness check and so I'm not able to include like super current stats uh, for this update because I wanted to get this out before then but when she was born she weighed six pounds 13 ounces um, at the eight month mark she was 17 pounds and then I weighed her when she turned nine months about a week ago and she was 18 and a half pounds so definitely can tell she's gained a little bit over the last month um, when she was born, she was 18 and a half inches long, and then at her six month mark was the last time we measured her, like, officially at the doctor's office, and she was 26 inches, which is the 49th percentile. She's absolutely gotten longer. I can definitely tell she's gotten longer in the last three months, but don't have an exact measurement for how long she is yet. For appearance, Journey's hair is getting longer. It's definitely thickening up, especially in the back. I feel like so many pictures at first when you take them straight on, she still looks completely bald because she doesn't have a lot right here. But literally from here back is quite a bit of hair for her considering um, that she was pretty much basically bald for the, rest of, for the first part of her life. But yeah, it's definitely coming in. I love playing with it, especially after her baths. It gets all fluffy in the back. And oh, it's so cute that she's finally getting some hair. She's still so smiley all the time. Although her expressions lately are cracking me up. She is getting so expressive as she gets older. And you can definitely tell when she's mad or sad. She's very quick to turn on the waterworks if you uh, tell her no. Uh, she's been having a little bit of fits when you tell her no. Like, for example, she loves to go after Roxy's water bowl, <laughs> my dog. Uh, she just beelines it past the kitchen to the water bowl, and probably 20 times a day I have to pick her up and move her away from it. And she doesn't like that too much. She really wants to play with the dog water, and sometimes she'll bust out in a good cry when we tell her no not to do that. So... Yeah, she's already getting into that stage. Something I've noticed her doing lately, and she's done it when she's frustrated, and she's done it when she's just being silly and like in a good mood, is she will squeeze her eyes closed. And I've noticed her doing that if she's like crawling to get something, and she kind of squeals and squeezes her eyes closed, or if she's frustrated that I won't let her get to something, she'll do it. So that is hilarious. For temperament, Journey is still so sweet and so silly, as I've been saying, all her 
expressions and personalities really coming out. She happy yells and squeals all the time. In fact, her and Brinley this morning were like yelling back and forth at each other, but she was they were both laughing about it. It was really funny. She still pouts when you walk away from her, especially when mommy walks away from her or if I walk through the room and she sees me and I've been doing something else for a few minutes. Uh, yeah, she pouts. She wants mommy. Definitely still a big time mommy's girl. And she will now crawl after you if she can and pull up on your leg and put her arms up like she wants you to pick her up uh, if you walk away from her, if she's able to get to you. She gets very excited when she wakes up from a nap or when she wakes up in the morning and you go in her room to take her out of her crib. She just starts clapping and going like this and smiling and laughing. She Every time I walk in her room, it's so cute. She's very, very excited for sleep time to be over. She's the same way when daddy gets home from work um, or when Brinley wakes up from a nap or something. She just gets so excited. I joke that she's very mischievous. She likes to get into everything and I've nicknamed her the master of destruction because <laughs> She is just so quick. Like She crawls at lightning speed, gets into everything, pulls things down, uh, just makes a mess so quickly. And it just like brings her so much joy to get into everything, especially things she's not supposed to get into. She loves to take her big sister's toys. I've tried to explain to Brinley, you know, she's a baby, she doesn't understand, but I do try to correct it even though she has no idea what I'm talking about. I try to keep that consistency with Brinley so Brinley knows you know you should share just like Journey should share. Uh, but yeah she loves to take things out of Brinley's hands <laughs> and really make her mad. <laughs> like I said she's more vocal no matter if she's happy, sad, mad. Uh, she will let you know and something funny that I feel like this has been going on even before the nine month mark but it's definitely lately something that I included in my notes because it's been happening more and that is she is scared of our Roomba so we have our Roomba in the sunroom and if you bump it it turns on or whatever and she will like intentionally crawl over to it and look back at us to see so we see her crawling over to it and I'm like, Journey, it's going to scare you. And I let her crawl over to it and she'll nudge it or push the button and it'll go off and this girl loses her mind. She just, ah, ah, ah. She, cr <laughs> she crawls away from it and she just sounds like terrified of it. But she does it again. Like as soon as I pick her up and calm her down. Uh, she does it again. If it's running, like when she's in the room and I'm holding her, she will squeeze me and bury her head into me like she's scared, but she's also very curious of it, so <laughs> I don't know. For milestones, Journey celebrated her first Christmas at the end of last month, obviously December. Um, that was so much fun. I have a vlog for Christmas Day if you guys haven't seen it. It was a really, really special day, just the four of us here at home. And the girls got so many fun toys and we just had kind of a lazy day and played all day with their toys and she loved my Christmas dinner that I made. She devoured it unlike her big sister who didn't touch a single bite of it. <laughs> uh, Journey loves food so she loved Christmas dinner and yeah it was a really really special Christmas for us as a family. She claps and waves several times a day. I've said that. She claps all the time. If you tell her to clap, she will. If you say say hi or say bye-bye, she will wave. She's still saying mama, but she usually only says it when I walk away or when she's upset. Although over the last couple days, I feel like she's been saying it a lot more, but she started saying dada. Uh, this was when we were in our hometown, so it was around New Year's is when she said dada for the first time. And now it's probably her most said word. She says da all the time and she'll say it at Xavian or she'll just be crawling around saying da 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 da. It's so cute. And I feel like she's trying to say hi. Like she'll make the ha ha noise when she's waving and sometimes I feel like it's trying to, she's trying to say hi. Um, she crawls at super speed like I said. She pulls herself up to stand on everything. She did this I think for the first time by herself right before I made my last update so I included it then but now she stands up like constantly up on, she pulls herself up from a wall, from the couch, from our legs, from toys. Um, she has tried to stand completely alone like she'll pull herself up from something and then let go. 
she does that for a second and then she falls down um, but over the last few days she just started pushing her push walker completely by herself so I kind of have to set her up to where it's you know away from furniture or whatever but she will push it all throughout the living room by herself and when she hits a wall she whines and turns around like okay mom help me and I'll kind of spin her around and she'll push it the other direction and this girl is no longer toothless she got her first two teeth basically at the same time it's the exact same thing that happened with Brindley I noticed the first one um, I think it was about two weeks ago is when I noticed it maybe a week and a half ago it was right before we got sick I noticed the first one and then a few days later at that point like I was not putting my hands in her mouth or really I was trying to keep my distance from her because I me and Brindley were the first ones I think to get COVID journey might have been I'm not sure but me and Brindley at this point were like sick so I was keeping my distance from her and my husband noticed that she definitely had two so now she has both of her bottom teeth you can see them very well she's biting everything and I'm just waiting for some top ones to pop through I feel like they're just all gonna come out now since she kind of waited a while longer than Brinley did to get any but she's teething so bad she's biting things which is now painful like she's biting me um, and hasn't bit while nursing yet with the teeth thank God because she's done that so many times with just gums and I can't imagine how bad that's gonna hurt I know it's coming <laughs> but yeah she's chewing on everything because them teeth coming in are really bugging our poor baby so we started going back to Zumbini which is something that we've been doing for the last six months um, and Brinley and Journey both love it it's baby and toddler Zumba so there's a lot of music a lot of dancing and we listen to the songs here at home like all the time even when we don't go to class and she just started dancing over the last few days so whether she's holding my hands or like holding on to something she'll hold on and kind of shake her little booty and oh my gosh it is adorable I love it her and Brindley will just dance together and she loves music she lights up when she hears especially the Zumbini songs because she knows them and starts dancing so that's something new that she started doing I think that's all the notes I have for journey she is just blossoming into such a big girl I can't believe I need to really s probably start planning her first birthday pretty soon I've been putting it off because I'm like in denial um, I have no idea what theme <laughs> we're doing at this point Brindley we did little baby bum because she was so into little baby bum but journey really doesn't care too much about TV at this point it's basically whatever big sis wants to watch anyway so I don't know I don't know what theme we're doing yet um, if we'll do one at all we might just have a smaller first birthday probably not I can't do small birthday parties especially your babies first but we'll see it's still in the works very much and when Miss Journey wakes up from her nap I will bring her into the video so you guys can see her I stopped doing postpartum updates on myself with the last video I really don't have anything to update you guys on um, I did lose probably like five or six pounds over the last couple of weeks, but it was not intentional. It was COVID weight loss because you don't have an appetite when you're sick. But other than that, I have absolutely nothing to catch you guys up on um, with me postpartum at this point. So when she wakes up, like I said, I will include Journey in the last part of this video. Okay, just woke up from her nap. Can you say hi? Say hi. She has got a little sad when we were getting her dressed. Say hi, Sissy. What do what do Jenny? Say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Can you wave? Can you say hi? You're not gonna do it. Hey, Jenny. Can you say hi? No, never when we want you to. Can you clap? Clap. Like I just woke up, woman. Yay! Clap! Yay! <laughs> High five! High five! Abra! High five! Abra! High five! Abra! High five! Abra! So funny. Can you dance? Dada? You say Dada? Say Dada. Say 
Tejada. Tejada. You don't want to do nothing? Just sit there and look cute? Bye bye. Tiki, 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 tiki. Thank you guys for watching this nine month update on Journey. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already, and I will see you guys in the next one. Say bye.